Tim Pierce. Uh, I'm here with Marty. I'm going to try and break down this classic song for you. It's a big one for me. I loved this song when I was a little kid. Uh, and uh, I'm going to show it to you two ways because I've got an open tuning going. I'm going to show it to you in the regular tuning too. So here we go. So to, to play this the, the, uh, the legit way, um, I think you got to tune your guitar to an E chord. So you know the chord, it's this one right here, you know, the, the E major chord. And so what you, what you got to do is tune the A string up to a B, you ting, the, ting, you tune the D string up to an E, and then you tune, tune the G string up a half step to a G sharp, so you get an E chord open like this. And the great thing about that is that you can then just go and sound like these amazing chords. Just playing across one fret. So I looked at a video and I saw uh, a slide on the second finger. So I usually use my slide on the third finger, but for this it works brilliantly on the second finger because it stays out of the way. I was actually shocked at how the slide completely stays out of the way if you put it on your second finger. And so what I'm doing is you strike the low E note. No, you don't do that. You first, the first thing you do is kind of anchor your hand with the little finger on the fifth fret, fifth string, and then the index finger below it, just kind of at um, on the third fret, and the first thing you play is this hammer-on between these two fingers. So once again, your th your index finger is on the third fret, fifth string, and you hammer on up a whole step and use your little finger. I suppose you could use your third finger, but then. This, this, the slide has a tendency to drop down and kind of get in the way, so I'm using the little finger. So check this out. Play that. And then strike the low E string. And then you're going to play a series of notes, but between each note, you're going to strike the low E string again. So let me show you the actual simplified version of the phrase you're going to play. It's simply... But you're going to insert the low E note in between each note and go. So let's learn the phrase first. Like I said, it's this hammer on. And then jump over to the next string with your index finger. Jump back. Jump back down. Jump back up. And then play this little bluesy turn right here, which is. And what that last phrase is, index finger pulling off on the low E string, down to the open E, and then you play the E that's above it. So, one more time. And once you kind of have that burned in, you can move to the next step, which is to insert the low E string between each note. I'll do it really slowly. So it's like the first four notes. After each of those, play that low E note in an alternating fashion. And what I do with my right hand is I kind of mute the low E note so it kind of sounds aggressive. And as you can see, it's alternate picking. So down. Most all of the low E notes are down strokes. As 
you get better at it, you can speed it up to where it's uh, supposed to sit. And at that point, I'm actually muting all three of the bottom strings with the palm of my hand because it, it kind of makes them more aggressive and staccato. <laughs> Now, when you go to the verse, he's playing a rhythm part that's one thing, but because you have a slide in your hand right now, you've got to do a little bit of a workaround. Uh, and then if you look at live footage, there's always a workaround because, you know, the record is one thing. You can overdub, you can pick up a regular guitar that's not tuned to a slide thing. But the way I approached the verse was a really simple, effective way, I thought, it, and that's just to take the slide up to the 12th fret on mostly the bottom uh, three strings and just do a rhythm part. <laughs> drop down to the D. So the first chord is simply barred across the 12th fret, and you can be pretty liberal with what strings you choose, what rhythm you play. We'll go back. Have fun with it. You can kind of be nasty and sloppy and play around. We're allowed to have fun? <laughs> <laughs> Even at this late stage of the game. Yeah, I'm seeking fun everywhere I can. Okay, then the turn is a simple fun thing too. You just go up to fret three and bar the slide across. And what I do is I do up an octave too. So I go, go up to fret 15. And then fret five. And it's corresponding fret uh, 17. One more time. So that's the legit way to play it. Now let's say you want to play it in a standard tuning. I'm going to do this really quickly. And I've seen this. Some really major artists have done this. Um, you just advance everything up two frets and do kind of the same thing just in the key of E pentatonic minor. But then you have to drop down here. This is a stretch. And I saw a pretty major blues guitar artist do it this way. It's such a great song. Everybody wants to play it live. All you have to do is make sure you drop down with your index finger, pick up that low note, and then give yourself some time to come back up. And then, because you don't have a slide in your hand, you can just play the E chord. Down to the D. And then slam out a G chord. Slam out an A chord. Put in your own leg. And then another way to play, which I always did, and I realized nobody else was doing, I, I kind of a long time ago, I started playing it down here. I would move over to the, the D string, the fourth string, and play it here. And that's pretty comfortable for the hand. finger up there if you want instead. So that's three ways to play it, but... So there's a bonus way. <laughs> bonus ways. You got three times the value yeah. for your guitar playing pleasure. Yeah. Awesome. Great. All right, you got it, man. Good. <laughs>